Welcome back to the channel, guys. Stick around, because you're not going to want to miss this one. Today, I'm going to show you the proper way to check a battery. And this also goes for your power sports toys, your lawnmowers, anything with a battery in it. There's two types of ways, or three types of ways, people check batteries. I want to show you the correct way to check to make sure a battery is good. First kind of way is with a test light or a multimeter. My test light here shows voltage. You may not have a test light that shows voltage, but mine does. You may check yours with a multimeter. Well, this is my test light slash multimeter because it tells me the voltage, that's it. Doesn't do anything else, just tells me voltage. You can do the same with a, a multimeter. However, that is not the correct way to check a battery. See, it's showing 12.3 volts, which is fine. That's within spec. This meter may be off by a smidge. I don't know. I have no idea. Same with your multimeter. This is not the correct way to check a battery. So, you're checking your battery this way. It is not going to tell you how much amperage or cold cranking amps, etc., is left in the battery. So, this one calls for. 650 cca that's cold cranking amps this light here is just telling you that it's got proper voltage it may have proper voltage but it may also have a bad cell uh, it could have bad lead and it may not be putting out the cca now batteries over time the lead breaks down it falls down into the bottom of the battery and it shorts the lead plates together which can cause a lot of issues with sensitive electronics. This goes for your cars, your side-by-sides, your ATVs, and in some cases, your lawnmower, depending upon the charging system. Older cars would start just fine until this battery would just wouldn't put out anything at all. Newer cars, newer electronics, and your side-by-sides and ATVs are very sensitive to the battery. So. Let's get into showing you how to properly check your battery. Before I show you that though, let's have a word from our sponsor. Go to MainStreetCycle.com for your parts, accessories, clutch kits, sound bars, ECU tunes, windshields, light bars, CF Moto Merch. You name it, they have it. Tell them Red Nick Garage sent you. You're going to want a battery tester. Now, I have a cheap one at home that I did show on the channel, but this is a good one here in the automotive industry that we use. It'll also print out your battery. But for those of you who are at home, you can get the cheap ones on Amazon. They're dirt cheap. They're like 30 bucks. In some cases, they're 20. You're gonna want to grab your power lead, put it on our positive and our negative lead put it on our negative and then our machine's going to turn on and it's going to walk you through we're going to press the enter button battery location is in the vehicle some of them may ask you this some of them may not battery type is regular battery standard is cca in different countries you may have a different letter or whatever but it all means the same thing so you're gonna to wanna to go battery rating, CCA, and on our battery, it says 650, okay? That's cold crank amps. Your regular crank amps is 810, but we are after the 650. So we're gonna bump this up to 650, 650, and then we're gonna hit the enter button and it's gonna test. Surface charge detected, okay. When it comes up with that, see, it wants me to run through the headlights, but I already know whenever it comes up with surface charge detected, it's a bad battery or it's a dead battery. In this case, I already know that it's a bad battery, but let's go ahead, we'll turn on the headlights. I'm gonna turn on the headlights. Turn headlights off. We're gonna turn the headlights off. Headlights off, detected, retesting. Oh, good recharge. See how it says good recharge? I uh, press, okay. It's only saying 434 cold crank amps. 
that is a bad battery. If you get a battery that says, hold on. Sorry about that guys, the phone. Money was calling. So, it says 650. That is unacceptable, 434. So even if I would charge this battery, that is not gonna, that number is not gonna come up enough. You already see that the battery is 12.17 volts. According to this, I just turned on the headlights and everything. This is a bad battery. That may be under warranty, I have to check. But anyway, this number here is unacceptable. This number is where you need to be, but you don't have to be. If this read 600 cranking amps on here, we would call that a pass. But since it's way down on four, 434, that's way far away from 650. So just cause it doesn't say 650 on the, the bat, right off the bat on the machine, doesn't mean the battery is junk. If it's close, if it's within 100 cranking amps of the number, it's usually a good battery. You could load test it with a load tester. So guys, that is how you test a battery and find out if it's good or not. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless. Money's calling. So guys, that is how you test a battery and find out if it's good or not. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless. Money's calling.